Hello, my name is David Flores. Welcome to my video presentation on Chapter 11, Information Systems Management. I hope you enjoy. In this chapter, we will learn about the following. Why do you need to know about the IT department? What are the abilities of the IT department? How is the IT department organized? What IS-related jobs exist out there? How do organizations decide about how much to spend on IT? And what are your rights and responsibilities? So why do you need to know about the IT department? There are two main reasons for this. First of all, you should know the duties and responsibilities of an IT department so that you will be a more effective user of its resources. Secondly, the better informed you are about the IT department, the more effective manager or executive you will be. So what are the responsibilities of the IT department? There are four major responsibilities for this. First is to plan for information systems and IT infrastructure. Then there's developing and adapting inf information systems and IT infrastructure. Then we have maintaining information systems and operating and maintaining the IT infrastructure. And lastly, to protect the infrastructure and data. Let's look at each of these responsibilities more closely. To plan for information systems and IT infrastructure, the IT department must position its activities to further advance the competitive strategy and improve decision making of the company. They must also test new technologies and adapt infrastructure to meet business goals. Agile Enterprise is a term developed by Microsoft to describe a strategy that quickly and effectively modifies IT and IS activities to meet ever-changing business and market conditions. To develop and adapt information systems and IT infrastructure, the IT infrastructure such as networks, service, etc. must be deployed and applied towards advancing the business strategy. Software and systems such as email and VPN access must also be created and applied to this end. As for maintaining information systems and operating and maintaining IT infrastructure, systems cannot be simply set up and left to their own devices by IT departments. They must be maintained, adjusted, and repaired as needed. One of the more important parts of these is maintaining network connectivity, as this is a crucial element of an IT department's responsibilities since loss of such connectivity can have far-reaching consequences. Perhaps one of the most important responsibilities of an IT department is to protect infrastructure and data from human error, malicious human activity, and natural events and disasters. IT departments need to understand the risks and specify safeguards against them. They must work closely with management to assist the cost-benefit of implementing what could be potentially costly safeguards. So how is an IT department organized? Typically, it is headed by a chief information officer or someone with another title such as vice president of information services or director of information services. And they would report to the CEO, COO, or CFO of a company. Other departments such as web services, operations, and development would serve underneath the CIO. Take a look at this graphic that displays how a company might typically organize their IT department. Note that the CTO, or Chief Technology Officer, who is responsible for developing new technologies, works underneath the CIO. So what IS-related jobs exist out there? Take a moment to look at this chart that displays some IS-related jobs. These here are on the lower end of the paying scale and require less skill and responsibilities. Now take a look at this other list of IS-related jobs. Notice that they are on the higher end of the paying scale. Obviously they are on the higher end of the paying scale because they require higher skill sets and responsibilities. What are your rights and responsibilities? Well your rights include having the proper hardware and software available to you to do your job proficiently, a secure computing environment, protection from worms, viruses, and other threats, prompt attention to problems, concerns, and complaints that you might have, and effective training, among others. Your responsibilities include the need to learn basic computer skills, security and backup procedures, to protect your passwords, to install only authorized programs, to apply software patches and fixes when directed to do so, and many others, as depicted on this list. Take a moment to review it.
Our last topic is on how organizations decide how much to spend on IT. First, they must analyze the costs and benefits spent in IT. Estimates on IT projects can be difficult because sometimes coming up with actual dollar amounts for these projects can be tricky. A tangible benefit can easily be computed. An example of this would be an investment that would produce a 10% reduction in customer support. An intangible benefit is not easily computed. An email system, for instance, that is used company-wide can have benefits that are very far-reaching and also very hard to calculate. This is the end of my video presentation. I hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something. Thank you for watching.